All right, back again, Luke here. And as you can see in front of you, today we've got a Konami PCB, and this board is uh, Simpsons Bowling. And what I thought we could do today is take a look at this board, and I'll tell you a little bit of information about it, hopefully some stuff that may help some others uh, who have this board out a little bit. Now this is something that I wound up picking up as non-working, and the biggest problem with this thing is it didn't power up, it didn't have a disk, it didn't have a working drive, and it had no way to play it, basically. So so what I've done here is I'll kind of go through it point by point to show you guys. Uh, I've added a fan here because normally this thing comes with a casing over the top of it and this does get a little bit warm. There is a fan that's normally on there but I just wired that up here. 12 volt fan and uh, stays constant, keeps the system cool here and works out quite well. The system BIOS is located down here in, underneath this board. And uh, sometimes that can be a bit of a problem. Um, if you have a flashing board that just keeps resetting, make sure you check the BIOS and everything is seated and everything is, um, all the legs are in correctly. That may be a problem. And if you fix that, you may get the system to start booting up or at least uh, be able to go through its system check. Some other things that I've done here is this is the original pinout for the trackball, but uh, to make it work with like HAP controls, what I've done is I've kind of changed this around a little bit. It's essentially the same thing, but Konami decided to use uh, seven pins or eight pins, I think. Let's see, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven pins, and one, two, three, four, five, I think five or six here. One, two, three, four, five, six, six on this one. What they've done is basically added a, another ground on this, so you can't just plug in regular HAP controls uh, to it. But what I've done is I have a couple of, what is it, Golden Tee Golf boards, and there's only like one pinout or one of these connectors that's used on it, especially for player one uh, to play up to four players. So I took one of the other ones and I desoldered it because there's three of them on the board. And I wound up recycling it and wiring it to this, adding a little bit of hot glue to keep it in place. And that way I can just easily connect uh, this setup here, which is my old, if you guys remember my old setup from way long ago that I made for Golden Tee Golf and uh, I can just plug it in here without any problems. But, uh, so that's that there. Another thing here is I wanna to talk to you about is the drive. Now I tried to get some information from Moomert1, who was really helpful. He used to own this board and he actually has a video up on it. He no longer owns it, but uh, he tried to find me some info on it because there's really not too much as far as repair or um, information on this board, so. But he did try to help out a lot. Uh, again, uh, huge thanks to Moomert1, as well as Wicked Clown NZ, uh, Chris, really tried to help me out a lot with trying to get the disc for this. Now, you'll notice down here, this uses a CD-based SCSI drive, and the SCSI drives that I found for this system, uh, all of them, pretty much anything will work, but the biggest problem is the jumper settings. Now, I had to do some kind of hit and miss here uh, with the jumpers in order to figure out the right pattern, but I figured I'll share that with you guys here so you don't have to go through the same trouble. Here is the jumper settings for the uh, board. I know this may be a little bit difficult to see. Maybe we'll go out of the light, but you can see that uh, the ID4 is on, parity is on, and then the uh, term power is on. All three of those jumpers needed to be on in order for this to work. Now, this is something that's uh, taken off the back of this as just a shot. Uh, but yeah, those three jumpers had to be on. IDE2 drive didn't work, one didn't work, had to be set exactly like this in order for the disc to read. Now, as far as the disc goes, uh, to make a disc for this, you can use the same technique as you use for Killer Instinct. So using Chadman, the Chadman program, and you can make up a disc for this and it will work perfectly fine. Just use a regular CDR for it. But what we're gonna do here is go ahead and flip the power on and I'll show you this thing in action. It's finally started working here. You can see it's starting to read. It'll come up with its boot screen check menu. And the thing about this drive is it's constantly in use. So if you do get one of these drives, you have to get one that's pretty much working or consistently working because if not the game will skip or um, you'll get strange music uh, everything will be off this thing's going through its media check right now and you can see it's loading but yeah it's a 
it's a bit of a troublesome board, but uh, it's pretty cool once it gets going. And But I just want to make this video to try to help out others, because like I said, when I tried to find out information on this board, I was completely lost. There was just nothing out there, so... I don't know how loud the music will be here, but you'll know if you have a good working drive or a bad one because I have tried a couple other drives that weren't really uh, working well and the music was off. It would actually skip and then eventually it would throw out like a loud like pee sound. But And I realized, okay, there's something wrong with either the board or the drive, but I switched out the drive and it worked great. So yeah, keep that in mind if you ever get a drive that's the music is off. You'll notice it at the beginning here. Let's see. Now normally, if the music is off there, it'll skip. It'll go da 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 and even to this section, it'll do the same thing, but this thing, as you can see here, is fully working. Like I said, I put that fan on there to, to keep everything uh, working well, and every, all the information I've told you guys can be found uh, online as far as like the Chadman, how to make a uh, disc image using Chadman. Uh, it's not difficult at all. Really easy to copy and paste and to make a disc up. But let's see here. Go ahead and start it. Just to show you everything working. And make sure that you do have a good amount of power going to the system um, or else, yeah, it may give you other errors. So check, that's why I put a digital readout on this one. Standard bowling. But as you can see here, all of our characters can be used or chosen just by using uh, Wait a minute. Like I, like I said though, um, okay, ready. if the drive is not fully working, it'll skip. You won't be able to hear some of the voice in it and whatnot. But this isn't really much of a gameplay video, although I may put up one later. But nonetheless, just to show you guys something, um, how to fix this thing if it's broken and a few things that I've done to this one to get it going. But And once again, huge thanks to Wicked Clown NZ and Moomert1 for the help and information on this. And hopefully this will help you guys out if you do have this board yourself. It uses only one button for the approach. It's a little bit better. So the start button is almost rarely used. It's only used at the beginning just once. But uh, yeah, that is the board and that's the system all running here. <laughs> well, yeah, that's about all for me for right now. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon. So, thanks for watching. Watching a little bit of some Simpsons bowling repair. At one bin.